This video explains how you can merge data from a Google Sheet into your documents. I've prepared a sample sheet with different columns containing dates, links to images, text and numbers. I want to print a weekly menu for our restaurant using the data from the sheet. Let's create a new Ultradoc right from the Google Drive Create menu. The name and description of the new Ultradoc will show up on Google Drive and will help you to track down the file. Let's pick the matching use case in the wizard to get started. As we want to generate and print a PDF document from a Google Docs template, let's keep the defaults. When clicking on the Next button, Ultradocs will generate a new empty Google document in the background. Let's now select the Print action, as we want to print out the generated document on a Google Cloud Print Ready printer. Choose the desired print options and click on Next. The wizard has now configured our Ultradoc to generate a PDF document from a Google Docs template and to print the generated document on a cloud-ready printer. As we want to merge data from our Google Sheet into the document, we have to add a building block referencing the sheet. Ultradocs will scan the sheet and track down the columns so that we can use them in our Google document. As Ultradocs is executing all building blocks from top to bottom, we have to move the sheet before the template. Let's now open the Google document by clicking on the Edit icon. This will open the Google document in a new browser tab. If you have installed the Ultradocs template editor, you can open it from the Add-ons menu. This will help us to insert the merge codes into the template. As we can see, all the columns from the spreadsheet now show up in the sidebar. On the right-hand side of the variables, you can see three dotted lines, which indicate that each variable contains multiple values. In our example, each variable holds the data of all rows in the specific column. As such, we can use these variables in enumerations. To insert the variable at the cursor position, click on it in the sidebar. The square brackets tell Ultradocs to create list items from the data in the variable. Click on the preview icon to generate and open the document in a new browser tab. As we can see, Ultradocs has generated a list from the data in the sheet. Whenever the cursor is in a text block and you insert a variable holding multiple values, Ultradocs will generate a for loop to print out the values. In this example, Ultradocs will iterate over all rows in the sheet and print out the name column separated by a comma. Simply reload the preview to generate a new document from the template. As we can see, Ultradocs has generated a text paragraph from the rows in the column separated by a comma. Ultradocs comes with a simple syntax to specify the delimiter. When reloading the preview, all rows should be now separated by stars. Let's now see how we can insert the data from a sheet as a table. The Ultradocs template editor will help you to get started. Click on the Sheets tab in the sidebar to insert a simple table as a starting point from the selected sheet. You will find the worksheets and columns of your sheet, as well as different layouts to choose from as a starting point. Ultradocs will also help you to format even and odd rows differently. For our example, we just stick with a very simple layout as a starting point. Clicking on the Insert button will append the specified table to your document. The variables will be inserted with square brackets, which tells Ultradocs to generate table rows based on the data and the variables. Let's reload the preview to see how this looks like. Ultradocs generates a table from the data in the sheet using the layout specified in the template. You can also access individual cells of the sheet by using a special syntax. As we want to insert a single value, we are using curly braces instead of square brackets. To insert individual cells, use the name of the worksheet, followed by colon, followed by the cell, in our case A2 and A6. This should simply print out the value of the specified cells. We have not yet specified any formatting, 
so all values will be simply printed out in the way they are provided by Google Sheets. Right now the table looks quite similar to the sheet, but you can easily change the layout by modifying the template. You can even access data from different columns in the sheet in the same column in your template. And feel free to use all the formatting capabilities of Google Docs. And keep in mind that you can generate tables from all variables holding multiple values, no matter if they come from a sheet or from any other data source. The table will now contain a single column, accessing data from the name and the description column from the sheet. Ultradocs comes with a set of so-called renderers to format values in various ways. We can for example use the image renderer to tell Ultradocs to fetch the image from the given URL and merge it into the document as an image. This looks nice, but the images are a little bit tiny. Each renderer comes with a set of options and the image renderer for example allows you to specify the width and height of the resulting image. You will find all available rendering options in the online help. The images look ok now. In the next step we want to format the prices. Ultradocs comes with a set of location aware renderers, for example the currency renderer. Ultradocs knows all the secrets about formatting numbers and currencies for a given currency code, language and country. If no locale is specified, Ultradocs will use the default locale. Before we'll finally take care of formatting the dates, let's improve the layout of the table a little bit. Feel free to adjust the column widths, no matter if Ultradocs has to wrap your merge codes across multiple lines. As promised, we will finally check out how to format the dates. This can be quite tricky, as dates come in various formats. So in most cases, you'll have to specify exactly how the incoming dates look like. We can pass this information by using the input pattern parameter of the date renderer. So in our case it's month slash day slash year. Check out the online help for further details. Once we've specified the correct input pattern, we can then print out the date in various formats. As an example let's use the full date format. Ultradocs knows how to format the date for a given country and language. As all dates come in the same date format from Google Sheets, we can use the same input pattern for all the dates that we want to format. So let's copy and paste the date renderer definition to the next date field and use medium as output pattern. The medium format will be slightly shorter than the full date format. Let's check that out. Finally, we want to print the day of the week in the first column of our table. Again, let us copy and paste the date renderer definition to the first column of our table. To print out the day of the week, we can use the capital E as output pattern. Three times the capital E will print only the first three letters of each weekday. To print out the full day of the week, use four times the capital letter E. If you want to print out times or date and times, use the date or daytime renderers. They offer the same location aware formatting capabilities as the date renderer. Let me finally show you a neat little trick when dealing with tables in Google Docs. To get rid of the table borders, Go to the Table Properties dialog and use the same background color for the table border that you use for the page background and set the width to zero. That's it for now, but there's much more to explore. Thanks for watching.